has reached this milestone. This evening, we have invited back all 16 of the players that have scored 1,000 points in their Duchenne basketball careers, and we thought you'd enjoy seeing them once again. To greet our guests at center court is the president of Duchenne, Mr. Bernie Nauman, and athletic director, Debbie Westchews. We'll start by introducing the ladies first in chronological order, saving the current record holder for last. We would ask that you save your applause until all the lady pioneers have been introduced. Our first guest this evening is Nancy Abling Malin. Nancy was the first lady pioneer to reach 1,000 points in a career. Nancy finished with 1,237 points and led her team to the state quarterfinals. In addition, she was a member of the 1977 state champion softball team. After graduating in 1978, Nancy accepted a scholarship to play basketball for St. Louis University. Today, Nancy is married and works and lives in the city of St. Charles. Next we have Terry Schulten-Henrik Reimer. Terry was a key player on the Lady Pioneer team that advanced to the state championship final game where Duchenne lost as Marshfield had a last second shot at the buzzer. Terry scored 1,243 points in her career and went on to be recognized as a high school All-American. After graduating from Duchenne in 1988, Terry accepted a volleyball scholarship to Southern Illinois University in Carbondale. Terry is married to fellow Duchenne grad Ron Reimer and has three daughters and lives in St. Charles. Next we have Nikki Christ. Nikki was a multi-sport athlete at Duchenne, bringing accolades in both basketball and softball. Nikki collected 1,014 points in her Duchenne career, and after graduating in 1992, shared an athletic scholarship to Umsel. While at Umsel, Nikki played both basketball and softball, and was inducted into the Umsel Hall of Fame for both sports. She also scored over 1,000 points in her collegiate basketball career as well. Today, Nikki resides in Belleville, Illinois. Next, we have Abby Goner. Abby comes from a talented family as her father, brother, two brothers, and sister also played and excelled as Pioneer basketball players. Abby played for the Lady Pioneers that reached the state championship final game twice, winning the state title once in 2003. Along the way, she tallied 1,314 points. Following her graduation from Duchenne in 2004, Abby received a soccer scholarship and was a starting goalkeeper for the St. Louis University Lady Billikens. Currently, Abby works in the family business and lives in the St. Charles area. Next, we have Brittany Mannings. Brittany was also a member of the outstanding 2003 state championship team. Her dominant inside presence resulted in an impressive career total of 1,820 points. Brittany was nominated as McDonald All-American and after graduating in 2004, went to Mizzou on a basketball scholarship, later transferring to play for St. Louis University. Today, Brittany writes for an online political magazine and resides in St. Charles. Next, we have Allie Reimer. Allie starred in both basketball and soccer while attending Duchenne. During her senior year, she was a key starter in the 2009 state championship soccer team. In basketball, Allie played as a freshman on the Pioneer basketball team that reached the state final four and finished her four-year career with 1,110 points. After graduating from New Shannon in 2009, Allie received a soccer scholarship to St. Louis University. Allie is now attending graduate school and lives in St. Charles. Next we have Alex Wolfing. Alex is the most recent Lady Pioneer to reach the 1,000 point plateau. Excelling on the court, Alex notched 1,246 points in her basketball career and received numerous honors including being recognized as an All-State player. Alex graduated from Duchenne in 2012 and currently attends Southern Illinois University in Edwardsville. Alex is the daughter of Dave and Linda Rolfing. Before we bring out our next Lady Pioneer, we'd like to give an honorable mention recognizing Erica Sams. 
Erica was an excellent player for the Lady Pioneers and scored 995 points, just five shy of the 1,000 mark. Her scoring ability and strong play on the basketball court contributed greatly to her team's success. After graduating from Duchenne in 2008, Erica continued playing basketball for Lindemann University, and currently she's the head coach for the Junior Varsity Lady Pioneers. Our last guest is also the current record holder for most points in a career, Monica Steinbaum. As a Lady Pioneer, Monica became Duchenne's all-time leading scorer with 1,971 points and a 17 points per game average. Her Duchenne career, her Duchenne record has stood for 25 years and is 11th on Missouri's all-time high school women's career scoring list. In addition, she was named as a high school All-American. Monica graduated in 1988 and accepted a scholarship to play basketball for Umsel. While continuing her spectacular career in college, she finished as Umsel's career scoring leader with over 2,000 points and set a multitude of records on the court. Her performance earned her induction into Umsel Sports Hall of Fame. Today, Monica is a teacher and serves as the head varsity coach for Duchenne's Lady Pioneers. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back our Lady Pioneer 1,000 point career scores. And now for the gentlemen. First we have Dennis March. Dennis was truly a pioneer as he became the first Duchenne player to ever score over 1,000 points. Fiercely competitive and known for his tenacity on the court, Dennis tallied 1,224 points in his career. After graduating from Duchenne in 1962, Dennis began his working life and retired after 34 years and a successful career employed with MEMC. Today, Dennis lives in O'Fallon with his wife, Judy Orff March, also a former Duchenne graduate. Welcome back, Dennis. <laughs> Next we have Mr. Tom Taylor. Tom was an imposing force in the paint for the Pioneers. During his career at Duchenne, Tom scored 1,314 points, along with gathering countless rebounds. After graduating from Duchenne in 1972, he continued playing basketball on a scholarship from Lumsa. Tom is married to Mary Abling Taylor, also a Duchenne graduate. Together they have three children, all of whom played basketball as Duchenne Pioneers. The Taylor family resides here in the city of St. Charles. Next we have Dan Pachmeyer. Dan graduated from Duchenne in 1976 and starred on the Pioneer basketball team. His career total of 1,325 points stood as a men's scoring record for 31 years until his son eclipsed it in 2007. Along the way, Dan's performance on the court earned him all state honors, after graduation, Dan accepted a baseball scholarship to pitch for Central Missouri State University. He is married to Don Burkhamper Plackmeyer, also a Duchenne graduate. Dan manages his family business and lives in St. Charles. <laughs> Next we have Scott Scoggin. Scott was a prolific scorer for his pioneer team and received a number of conference and district honors. Scott finished with a total of 1,225 points in his career. After graduating from Duchenne in 1984, he continued playing basketball at Florissant Valley Community College. Scott is currently a Chesterfield police officer and serves as the Parkway West High School resource officer. Scott and his family reside in Lensville. <laughs> Next we have Trevor Toon. start for the Pioneers as he helped lead Duchenne to the state, state tournament's Elite Eight. Along the way, Trevor received all state honors and was named Conference Player of the Year his junior and senior year. He completed his impressive Duchenne career with 1,055 points. After graduating from Duchenne, Trevor decided to attend Mizzou and has selected finance as a major. Next we have Drew Moore. Moore is a senior and a current member of the varsity basketball team. Recently, on December 26th, 
Drew surpassed the 1,000 point mark and now has over 1,100 points and is still, still adding to that total. Drew has been named to the all-conference team for the last three years and was awarded all-state honors last season. In addition, Drew is a standout on the varsity football team, has been named all-conference several times and was recognized as an all-state defensive end. Drew is the son of Mike and Renee Moore. Next we have Ryan Toon. Congratulations to Ryan as he scored his 1,000th point earlier this week on Tuesday evening. With his ability to score from either the outside or down in the paint, Ryan will continue to add to his career totals this season. Last season as a junior, he was named Conference Player of the Year and was honored as a first-team All-State player. Ryan and his brother Trevor are the sons of Ryan and Jill Toon. was the current men's varsity career scoring record, Zach Plackemeyer. <laughs> Zach started all four years as a pioneer and completed his high school career with 1,929 points. Although his career assist record was broken earlier this week by current pioneer Sam Briscoe, Zach still continues to own numerous records for his stellar play. Zach was selected as an All-State player and McDonald's High School All-American nominee. After graduating in 2007, Zach received a scholarship to play at IPFW and NCAA Division I program. While in college, Zach was a starting point guard all four years and competed against some of the top teams in the country. For his excellent performance, Zach received a number of team accolades. Today, Zach works as a sales agent for State Farm and resides in St. Charles. Ladies and gentlemen, this group has collectively scored over 21,000 points and provided us with many wonderful Duchenne basketball moments. At this time, please help us recognize our 1,000 point scorers and give them a big round.